A lot of people have asked how I do my wet cyan types, if I could explain it to them. So I'm gonna to try to do a little video here for everyone to see. These are some examples of some of the smaller pieces I have done. Um, and first I'm gonna just go through the materials you'll need to have on hand. You'll need a piece of glass or plexiglass. I have it taped off just so I don't cut myself. And a piece of um, real heavy, thick cardboard um, or foam core, something to um, put the watercolor paper on and then sandwich the glass over the top. Uh, you will need the chemical, which is here. This is the kind I use. Some clips to hold the um, glass and cardboard together. Then you'll need watercolor paper that works for the cyanotype process. This is the one I'm using right now. It's beautiful. It's a little more expensive than some, but the result is, is wonderful. Um, a small container to, and a foam brush works really well to coat the paper when you mix the chemical up. Uh, I use a spray bottle with diluted vinegar in it. Um, cling wrap, which I cover the glass with to add a little more texture to the, the piece. I use turmeric. And there's peroxide, which uh, you rinse the print in when it's done. Um, exposing and it's been rinsed. I, I don't always use peroxide, but a good deal of the time I do. So those are the materials one needs to have on hand if you're going to do it the way I do it. Um, in the next part of the video, I will show you the process of coating the paper and getting it ready to expose. All right, now I'm going to show you how to actually pre prepare the cyanotype print to put in the sun. I like to have my leaves or objects chosen first, lay them out on the paper and make sure I like the way they look. This time I'm using some Japanese maple leaves and a couple um, sweet woodruff leaves that look like little stars, which I'm gonna clip the stem off of these first. There we go. And there's a spider. Um, so you don't have to, you can use any kind of leaves you want. You can mix and match, you can do whatever you like for your composition. You don't even have to use leaves, you can use other objects that will work on the paper. So I'm gonna now take these off so I can coat the paper with the chemical, which I have right here, and I use a just regular foam brush, and I coat the entire page with a nice even coat. I like to do it this way. Some people just coat the small area that they might be using. I like the whole page covered. So you just do a nice even coat. There we go. I think that's good. And then I'm going to lay out the leaves again. Try, try to get them the way I had them, which is next to impossible. There we go. And then I think I'll put the Sweet Woodruff Stars back on like that. And you work while the paper is still wet. That's um, what's known as wet to wet cyanotype instead of letting the chemical dry first. Now I'm going to just spray the, no, no, sorry. Now I'm going to use the turmeric which I just sprinkle on from the container wherever I, wherever it lands, basically. I don't have any rhyme or reason to it. I just go like that. Occasionally I'll use some kosher salt sprinkled on. This time I'm not. Then I spray, I've got my glass here with the cling wrap already on it. I kind of like to wrinkle it up a little bit to add texture to the actual print. So I squirt that with some diluted vinegar. Then I squirt the paper as well, just a few times. And then I flip my glass over the print like that. And I clip all the corners to hold the glass in place on top of the 
paper. Like so. I use these clamps most of the time. You can also use um, oh, other clamps that you might have in your workshop like these. Um, occasionally I will use those as well. So it is all ready now to go put in the sun and I will do that, leave it for four or five hours and come back in another video, another part of this video and show you how to rinse it and um, do the peroxide bath. All right, we'll be back in four or five hours. Okay, um, time has passed. The print is done. I'm taking off the glass and the leaves. Whoops. Trying to do this one-handed. You can see what's left. And I did, I'm going to throw it up there. I did another one to show as well here. So I'm going to take that off the board. I'm doing this outside with the hose, which is the best way to do it. And the leaves just kind of fall off. So I'm going to put that there. And now I'm going to rinse them with the hose. And Sometimes you have to run your hand over it to get some of the turmeric off. Let's see. You can see the color, the color change to the paper is pretty cool. You can see the difference in the color. That one's kind of a light green that's kind of a dark green, so you never know what you're gonna get. Okay. I think that's probably good enough, at least for the demonstration. Now, I have prepared here a tray that just has peroxide, a couple teaspoons, tablespoons of peroxide in it, and I'm going to dip each one in the peroxide and you can see the change that'll happen. It turns much more blue color than the green. That's all you have to do. That's long enough and I'm going to do this one next. Oops. Just float for 30 seconds or so. It's interesting, these leaves are very white. These leaves are blue. Um, I think it depends on the transparency of the, the leaves. The ginkgo leaves are really thick, so they leave a, a, a whiter. Now you just are going to rinse one more time. Get my hose. And I'm doing this on a just a piece of plexiglass to hold them off the off the myrtle. That's all there is to it. And then I use old um, pant hangers to hang them up. I hang them up in the apple tree and um, let them dry. Once they're dry, they are good to go. They dry pretty flat, so you don't really have to uh, flatten them out anymore, but um, I will, uh, once they're dry, I'll take a picture of them and put it at the end of the video. So that's all there is to it. Just wanted to show you the final product hanging in the apple tree, I put a couple clothespins on the bottom just to keep it straight 
so it doesn't um, doesn't warp while it hangs. And there's the other one with the apple tree leaf in front of it. Anyway, there you go. All right, here are the uh, the finished products. There's the ginkgo leaf and the Japanese maple leaves. And I'm going to zoom in a little closer. You can see the lines from the texture of the cling wrap that that created on the print itself. Very cool. And the, um, the gold from the turmeric. I really hope that anybody watching this tries it themselves because it is such fun to do and quite addictive and not terribly expensive. And you're creating a unique piece of artwork um, from your garden, really. So I hope you enjoyed the video and try this at home.